Manchester United could complete bargain signing with $60 million discount on striker. According to reports, Manchester United will have an outstanding opportunity this summer to recruit Ivan Tony for an extremely affordable cut as Brentford are ready to lose their key striker. Sir Jim Ratcliffe is rumored to be looking for a new striker signing and Tony meets that requirement perfectly. The Red Devils are anticipated to bring in competition for Rasmus Hoylund. The Bees forward has only made 13 appearances this season, scoring four goals after serving an eight-month ban for breaking the Football Association's betting regulations. However, in 137 appearances for Brentford, he has demonstrated his abilities as a top Premier League striker by bagging 72 goals and dishing out 22 assists. According to a January story from Sky Sports, Brentford are seeking $100 million from any potential suitor looking to make a move when his suspension ends. Many Premier League teams, including Arsenal, Chelsea and West Ham United, are reportedly eyeing Tony, who is expected to fetch between $30 million and $40 million this summer, according to Sky Germany. As they are ready to replace Anthony Martial, who will depart Old Trafford, as a free agent once his contract ends in July, Manchester United are also in the race to sign him. It's also said that the Red Devils want to bolster their positions at right flank, center midfield, left back and center defense this summer, so it seems uncertain that a high profile striker might join them. The end is near for Rafael Varane at Manchester United. Rafael Varane will not feature for Manchester United for the next few weeks having been sidelined with a fresh muscle injury. The World Cup winner has struggled with injuries this season which has left the manager lacking options at centre-back. It has created yet another injury crisis in defence. There was a brief period earlier this season when Eric Ten Hag favoured alternative options at the heart of defence because Varane, 30, has begun to slow down and isn't the player he was during his prime at Real Madrid. While United have not made a definitive decision on whether to offer Varane a new deal, surely they need to re-evaluate all of their options across defence. The news regarding Varane comes at a time when his future remains up in the air. That is why I believe we are closing in on the Frenchman's final season at Old Trafford and potentially his final campaign in Europe if he decides to take the cash in Saudi Arabia. Ratcliffe could make a $128 million signing that ends Rashford's Manchester United career. Having been absolutely instrumental last season for Manchester United with 17 Premier League goals, Marcus Rashford hasn't been able to get anywhere near that this time around. Last term, the number 10 was, without a doubt, the most influential attacker on Eric Ten Hag's team, but that's certainly not been the case this campaign. Although the England international has scored seven league goals, He's been unable to consistently perform, and he visibly looks frustrated. With that in mind, Sir Jim Ratcliffe is keen to make a blockbuster signing this summer, with an attacking superstar among the list of transfer targets. According to reports from Spain via TeamTalk, Manchester United are weighing up whether to make a move for Rafael Leao this summer. The Portuguese winger has been excellent for Milan since his arrival, scoring 55 goals and providing 48 assists in 21 appearances making him almost priceless to the side. Nonetheless, although they are eager to bring him to England, the reported fee that it would take to sign Leao is in the region of $128 million, which would make him United's most expensive signing of all time. If Ten Hag's side were to splash the cash on the former sporting player, then they would be buying an extremely similar profile to Rashford. That point is further backed when the statistics are compared. Both players boast almost identical stats to one another across every single metric, but one that stands out as a clear difference is how Leao can act as an extremely productive creator as well as a goal scorer. Milan's number 10 has picked up 8 assists this campaign, which is the joint best in the entire Italian top flight, and the fact that he can create makes him far less predictable than Rashford in the final third. Unfortunately, Neither will settle for an alternative role in the team or consistent rotation. So although the signing of the Portugal international would make United more dangerous, it would come with a cost attached, potentially the end of Rashford's career at Old Trafford. Benjamin Sesco could be sold for less than $42 million release clause. 
Leipzig are not only open to selling Manchester United target Benjamin Sesko this summer, but could also sell for a deal lower than his $42 million release clause. The Red Devils have struggled for goals all season, and there have been moments where the club has had no true number nine available. Therefore, signing a striker to support Hoyland has become a major issue to address in the summer, and the club have been linked to targets such as Lois Openda, Harry Kane, Victor Osimhen, and Ivan Toni. According to 90 Min, there is some good news regarding another striker target in the form of Leipzig's Sesko. The $50 million release clause in Sesko's current contract may not need to be activated in order for him to leave, with Leipzig open-minded about the structure of any deal providing that ballpark valuation is met. In addition, the Slovenian's most likely destination is the Premier League, where United, Arsenal and Newcastle all harbour an interest in the player. United have had their eye on the 20-year-old for quite some time and were in talks to sign the player in the summer of 2022, but no deal materialised. It was also reported that Sesko's release clause would kick in next summer, but news that the Bundesliga outfit may sell for lower will be welcomed by the likes of the Old Trafford outfit. Eric Ten Hag views Tyrell Malaysia's absence as a key factor in Manchester United's struggles this term. Manager Eric Ten Hag believes the importance of Tyrell Malaysia's absence has been underestimated and views it as a key factor in Manchester United's struggles, according to The Athletic. The Netherlands international left-back has not played for the Red Devils since undergoing surgery on a knee meniscus injury last summer and is not expected to feature this term. With Luke Shaw also missing large chunks of the campaign due to frequent injuries, Man United have played without a natural and recognized left-back in 22 of their 43 games across all competitions. Malaysia was a regular for the Red Devils during his debut campaign in the Premier League last term, making 39 appearances across all competitions and only missing from the matchday squad once. However, Ten Hag has been unable to rely on his services and he reckons that has greatly affected Man United this season. Malaysia first felt pain in his left knee earlier last year, but kept playing as he was eager to impress in his debut campaign, failing to immediately report his complaint to the club. A decision was taken to manage the injury to allow him to keep playing when he informed the club's medical staff in the spring. He returned with knee discomfort when he resumed training at Carrington on July 15, along with other players who had been involved in end-of-season internationals. Malaysia underwent surgery as a result, with Man United announcing he would not travel as part of their squad for the preseason tour of the United States. The club proposed a surgeon in London, but the Dutchman chose to undergo treatment in the Netherlands with his own. They agreed to his request, but it was conducted outside of the club's oversight, and scans carried out afterwards on the affected knee revealed that small fragments of cartilage remained around the meniscus. Corrective surgery was carried out in November by the same surgeon, with representatives from the club overseeing it. Malaysia will continue to work with an external specialist and travel between Manchester, Barcelona and the Netherlands until he is ready to join team training.